Hi there. In this video, I'll be answering a question on the gas laws and kinetic theory, looking at the relationship between pressure and volume for a fixed mass of gas at constant temperature. We'll be explaining the relationship using kinetic theory, describing the motion of the gas particles within the container. This question is from the 2017 National 5 paper. A bicycle pump with a sealed outlet contains 4.0 times 10 to the negative 4 meters cubed of air. The air inside the pump is at an initial pressure of 1.0 times 10 to the power of 5 pascals. The piston of the pump is now pushed slowly inwards until the volume of the air in the pump is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4 meters cubed, as shown. During this time, the temperature of the air in the pump remains constant. Part A then asks us to calculate the final pressure of the air inside the pump. Now, there are four gas laws to choose from in the relationship sheet. This one links pressure and volume at constant temperature. The second one links pressure and temperature at constant volume. The third links volume and temperature at constant pressure. And the last, known as the general gas equation, is to be used when all three quantities are changing. If you need to use this last equation in a numerical question, then it can also be written like this. P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2, although it doesn't appear in this form in the relationship sheet. For any calculations involving temperature, you'll need to convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273. We don't have to do that here, because temperature is constant and it's the first equation we're using. Next, we have to substitute our initial pressure and volume, P1 and V1, into the equation together with the final volume, V2. Be careful when doing this, as it's easy to get mixed up. This gives us 1.0 times 10 to the power of 5 times 4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 is equal to P2 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4. To find P2, we just divide both sides by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4, like this. That gives us a final answer of 2.5 times 10 to the power of 5 pascals. Part B then says, using the kinetic model, explain what happens to the pressure of the air inside the pump as its volume decreases. Let's take a closer look at that bicycle pump and the air particles within it. Now, the air inside the pump would contain millions of air particles, which are incredibly small. I'm drawing them like this so we can see more clearly what's going on. The air particles are continually moving like so, and when an air particle collides with the walls of the container, it exerts a force on it. The average force exerted on the container walls due to all these individual collisions, and therefore the pressure, depends on the number of collisions per second and the average force of the collisions. Let's see if we can see any difference when the piston is pushed inwards and the volume is reduced. First off, there will be no change in the speed of the particles, meaning that they'll have the same kinetic energy as before. This means that when they do collide with the walls of the container, there will be no change in the average force per collision. What will change though is the number of collisions per second. See if you can spot a difference. With a reduced volume, the particles have less distance to travel between collisions, meaning, and hopefully you saw this in the animation, that there are now more collisions per second between the air particles and the container walls. Here's our answer then. As volume decreases, the gas particles collide with the container walls more frequently. What this means is that the overall force in the walls is therefore greater. And finally, pressure increases. Just make sure that you can explain the relationship between pressure and temperature as well as volume and temperature using kinetic theory. The difference with these is that heating the gas will lead to the air particles speeding up, so they'll have more kinetic energy, and when they do collide with the container walls, they'll exert a greater force. Now it's time for the final part of the question, part C. The piston is now released, allowing it to move outwards towards its original position. During this time, the temperature of the air in the pump remains constant. Using the axes provided, sketch a graph to show how the pressure of the air in the pump varies as its volume increases. Numerical values are not required on either axis. We'll start by labelling the axis. Pressure on the y-axis and volume on the x-axis. We should also mark in the origin. You'll need to remember that pressure and volume are inversely proportional in a gas at constant temperature. What that means is that as the volume doubles, the pressure halves, and vice versa. You'll also need to remember the shape of this graph, which looks like this. A curved graph which shows that as the volume increases from left to right, 
the pressure decreases. Now, that answers the question, but in the marking scheme for this part, you were allowed to graph pressure against 1 over volume. In that case, the graph would be a straight line through the origin. As far as the gas laws go, there are actually six graphs that you'll have to memorise. I'll not go over the others here, but I'll try to cover them in an upcoming video. And that, once again, is the end of the video. If this has been of any use to you, then why not give yourself the challenge of telling as many people as you can about this channel. Together, we can take on the world. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.